So in Kinovea 2023.1, there has been some changes in the way we work with key images. I'm going to cover this in this video. So the first thing you will notice is that we have colors now. Each key image has its own color. And in the main timeline, the little tick mark for each key image is also going to reflect that color. And of course, we can still change the title and attach comments. However, now when you double click on the key image, it's going to open this side panel. And this is where we're going to manage our key, our key images or keyframes. So by clicking on the keyframe, it's going to jump the timeline to that point. And you can see this little bar is where we are. Same thing here. And in this field, we can add comments. And the title field is directly editable. So you can change, you can change that title. As you can see by default, if there is no title, it's going to reset the title to the time of the keyframe. So that's for the basic interaction that we can have with, with keyframes. Another thing that is new in this version is that we can change the time of the keyframe. So there are two ways to go about this. Either we place ourselves on the timeline where we want the keyframe to be moved to, then we pick the keyframe we want, we want to move and we right click and move to current time. Or the other option is to grab the keyframe and simply move it on the timeline where we want it to move. So in this case, it has moved here and we can see it has reorganized the list of keyframes. Now, the next thing I want to show is the concept of presets. We go to options, preferences, drawings, and presets. And these are our keyframe presets. So these are names and colors that we can bind to shortcuts. If I go to keyboard in player screen category, if I scroll down, there is a section where we're going to see all of the shortcuts assigned to these presets. So let me uh, remove all of these. And so whenever we use one of these shortcuts, it's going to insert the corresponding keyframe. For example, if I hit Control 2, it just inserted the right keyframe. Now, uh, you, could, you could even do this while it's playing. So for example, I just hit play. As you see, I've set this to 25%. And I can just insert all of my presets on the fly. So obviously, it's all wrong here, but you get the idea. So that's for the basic management of key images in Kinovea 2023.1. And in a future video, I'll show how you can prepare an entire set of keyframes, save it as a template, and then reuse it in a different video. I hope you have found this interesting. And if you have any question, as always, leave them in the comments. And I'll see you next time.